Yeah, I met up with Casper. <laughs> the story is crazy. Did, did I ever tell you guys what happened when I met up with Casper? Who wants to hear that story of what happened when I met up with Casper? If you if if you want to hear that story, just drop some fire emojis. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what happened when I met up with Casper. Just drop some fire emojis. Ten fire emojis. I'll tell you what happened when I met up with Casper. Just drop ten fire emojis. Uh, ten fire emojis. One, two, three, four, five. Only still have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay, I got ten fire emojis. So you guys never heard about the story. So let me tell you the story. So Casper was coming to school. I was a student at Northwest University, which is just my neighbors now. <laughs> I'm neighbors which where I used to study. I actually visit my restroom till today. I go there, check what's happening. And I donated my fridge. I bought a fridge uh, at Northwest University. When I stay address. So I spent like how much did I spend? I don't know how much the fridge is, but yeah, I don't know. I just spent, I bought a fridge, and then I decided that it's going to be in my room forever. Whoever who comes and stays in my room will have a benefit to have a free fridge. Isn't that, isn't that cool? So today, if I can go to my room address, there is a fridge. It's a, it's a, it's a high-sense double bar fridge. It's very big. And whoever who goes to my room and... Yeah, I still uses my fridge. And it's going to be like that forever. Yeah. So, what happened is I was doing my first year. <laughs> Funny enough, I lied to Casper and told him I'm doing my second year. But it was towards the end of the year. So, I already knew because I passed all my modules. <laughs> so, I told... So, what happened is um, Casper was coming to promote Philip FNP Stadium. And Casper Tool today is still my favorite rapper. Not just that he's my favorite rapper, only he's also one of the guys that motivates me because that guy made something out of nothing. Yeah, just like me, same vibe. So Casper comes into Northwest University to promote. He came, it was him, Black Coffee, the Major League D DJs, Ricky Ricky. All four of them, they came to invade Northwest University. I, these dudes come, dog. When they come, I went crazy, dog. So now I realize that dog, I can't get close enough to speak with Casper because like there's a lot of folks and me, I'm there and I was still skiing at the time and no one respected me because I was not I was not there. I was So no one would respect me. I was just a university boy, so very skinny. Yeah, they came in the Vitlas. Excuse us, they came in the Vitlas. Frank Casino as well, yeah. I they pull out these dudes. I then mean dog, me, I'm very smart. I, I've been telling people this for, for years. I'm very smart. I see that if these guys are flooded and I cannot speak with Kes. You know what I decided to do? I go straight to the main gate where I know that there's only one gate at Northwest University, which is building one. That's where Casper is going to exit when he's leaving. So let me leave him. Do the unyu unyu there with a lot of people. Then I'm going to just go to the building one and stand exactly in the middle of the road. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. Casper comes. Black Coffee started coming first. Black Coffee was, was driving a G63. I let the coffee car pass. I didn't care about him that time. Now I wish I used that opportunity. I was the main security guy. <laughs> I let the coffee pass. I'm like, I don't care about this one. Ricky Ricky comes. I'm like, I, I don't care about Ricky Ricky. Who is Ricky Ricky? I let Ricky Ricky pass. And then I see a Vitla. <laughs> the Vitlas had Casper. And the major league tweets, I stopped there. <laughs> and then I tell the bodyguards, I don't care, I shoot me. <laughs> I mean, I don't care, shoot me. 
The only thing that I want to do, I want to speak with guests. <laughs> Yo, bro. So now it's a problem. The Northwest University security guys are coming to me. And also they don't know me. I'm telling them, you guys rest here. You guys don't touch me. Don't touch me. The only people that can touch me are Casper and your bodyguards. So, and then Casper decides inside eh, to send a videographer, eh, a videographer to come record me. Then this guy asked me, what do you want to say to Casper? Eh? It's like the reason why you are holding Casper hostage. What is the reason? <laughs> what do you want to say to Casper? That's a funny that's the funniest story ever in the whole world. I'm not done. So, basically what happens is, so Casper does what? Now, you see the V-class, he opens the window. I didn't notice that Casper had opened the window. The videographer comes outside and says, which message you want to tell to Casper? I'm going to record you, and then we're going to pass the message to Casper. Dog, I start speaking. Wunyo, 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 wunyo. I just heard Casper's voice. I thought, let that guy inside the VR. Yo! I was shaking, bro. I was, I was shaking. I was shaking, dog. Casper told the security, the bodyguards and the security guys to let me enter the VR. Inside the VR, there is the major league DJs. There is... No, Ricky Rick was not there. There is also, there is also Casper, and then there is Tilly, Casper's manager. It's like a whole bunch of guys. They are there inside. I, you know, and then Casper takes my sis, my, my 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 small Samsung phone, dog. He takes it and then he asks me how I am. Then he records, he records the conversation of us speaking. I'm like, I'm good, bro. You're the best, dog. I've been listening to all your albums, dog. Ever since the first album, True Fellow, Dark Shebeleza, dog. Those albums are the best. Dog, you are too much, my bro. And I'm coming to FNP Stadium to watch you, dog. And then Casper did what? Um, Casper did what? He, he gives me a t-shirt, dog. He signs the t-shirt. He's like, pull up at FNP Stadium, dog. I'm like, I'm definitely coming. At the time, there was like major league and I didn't give a fuck about them. Uh, like, and then now Black Coffee and Ricky Ricky are worried what's happening with Casper. <laughs> <laughs> they are out there in the entrance and those bodyguards and security guys, they're like, damn, Casper, we literally spoke with Casper for for like 15 minutes, dog. Tops was 15 minutes. And Ricky Rick was waiting for me. The Grammy Awards winner was waiting for me. The Grammy Awards winner, I I'm saying it again, with, with, without any fear or favor or prejudice. <laughs> the Grammy Awards winner, his name is Black Cove. Nkosi Nat was waiting for me. Outside, dog, it was so quiet. It was just only me and Chris were speaking. The major league DJ was scared there at the bank, thinking that I'm gonna pull up my gun. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's where I started respecting Casper even more, dog. Uh, it's one of those things that, like, dog, uh, when a person look up, looks up to you, when a person looks up to you, dog, they really do, and you must never ever in the whole world disappoint a person that looks up to you there's no even time even when i'm not feeling well even when i'm mad when i meet up with people who really fuck with me who really love my work and wants to take a picture i always smile even if i had just broken up with my girlfriend even if i had just uh blown an account but i just must smile and show love to that person because that thing can make them to be someone one day you get it? So the moment you have pride towards people who look up to you, dog, you must just rot in, in, in hell, dog. You mustn't do that, dog. Like, you mustn't do that. I even shame good with my niggas. When I mess up with my niggas, we shame good to all of us. No worries, dog. I'm not that dude that's gonna be like out there acting all cheesy on guys. Ah, nah, dog. 
don't act cheesy on guys dog don't act cheesy on guys because with that you're gonna be someone and then casper dropped the song saying i want to see i want to see 63 ah then i went to buy it <laughs> <laughs> then I went to buy it. There's a time when it says GTI. I went to buy the GTI. You haven't said anything about the Amarok, though. Yeah, I guess we must drop something about the Amarok. Amarok. I'm a rock star. I'm riding Amarok. I'm a rock star. Yeah. <laughs>